What's up? This is Manny with Shot Boys Entertainment. My first interview ever with Mursad Bektik. Um, let me give a shout out to uh, Shot Boys and everybody who needs to be recognized in the sport. Um, BFC, Ryan, Grover Wiley, Red. Um, Made American Martial Arts. Made American Martial Arts. Who else? Uh, Manny. You me? Uh, don't back up, stack up. Body Connection, Max Muscle, Chad and Steve. Mythology, my boy Tony, everybody. Everybody. Well, here we have it. This is my first interview, like I said. I respect the sport. I respect the fighters. But I do, I am an instigator. So here we have it. What you expect in this fight, Masad? How long you been fighting for? What inspired you to do this? I mean, what, do you, what do you feel about this fight coming up? We've been fighting for like a year and a half. A year and a half you've been fighting? Yeah. Why are your ears like that? Man, I don't know. <laughs> they messed up. So what's your game plan? What are you, what are you going to do in this I'm fight? I'm going to go in there and fight. You know, I'm going to go in there. It's going to... Well, every fight starts standing, so, you know. And it ends, hopefully, on the end round, right? It doesn't. Knockout. It ends with me, my hand raised, you know. So, but I'm going to go in there. I'm going to fight, and he's going to fight. He better show up, because I'm going to show up. And we're going to fight, and, you know, the better man's going to win. So, actually, you guys are both undefeated. What do you feel about that? you feel a little bit intimidated by that? I mean, they say he's really good, and... No, the more the merrier. The more the merrier, that's right. The more the merrier, you know. At this point, if I don't fight anybody that's good, then there's no point in me fighting them. And if, if they're not good, then they're going to get destroyed. So I hope he's good and you know, he has a good record. He has, I mean, I've seen a couple of his fights, he's a good submission. But, you know, I'm ready. I train everything. I was just out in Florida training with the American Top Team. Yeah, we heard that. I heard you was in Vegas as well. Yeah, I was in Vegas. I was in California for two weeks. I've been everywhere, you know, and I, I've trained with the best, and I've held my own, and I've done good. And you know, do you feel by you going out there to uh, Florida that teach you anything different that you didn't already know? Yeah, I mean, it taught me everywhere you go, you know, you can pick something up new, you can learn, you can learn new things, and I picked up a few tricks down there, not even tricks, but you know, just things are gonna help me, and you know, I'm applying it to my game, and it's working, you know, just like you saw today, we were doing some of the things I learned from there, you know, with, you know just becoming more well-rounded in MMA, you know, not becoming one-sided, not just boxing, you know, just boxing, but you're applying it to MMA, you know, so. So where do you see yourself in the next six, seven months? You're going to go pro? Oh, this is your last amateur fight, I heard. Yeah. I mean, if everything, if everything goes the way I plan it to go, it's going to be my last amateur fight, and I'll make my pro debut in June and July, and, you know, big things pop up from there. There you have it. We're inside of Bectic, Andy. Guess we're out. See you Friday. Make sure you get your tickets. Yeah, get them tickets. Get them tickets at 25 bucks a piece. Contact me. Uh, just, yeah, get, get your tickets. We gotta get a hold of this guy. You can find us on Facebook, Masad Bektik or Manuel Ponce. We'll be right there. So, you need tickets, get at us. April 1st, right? April, April 1st, 1st, this Friday. This Friday. This Friday. Friday. Yeah. All be right. There. Be there. Beware. <laughs> <laughs> push the red.